Hi, my name is Rachel, and today we'll be learning about the different signs of impending volcanic eruption. So our quote for today is, knowledge is power. Knowledge shared is power multiplied. This is shared by Robert Boyce. So here is our table of contents. The first part would be, what are volcanoes? The second would be the topic, which is signs of impending volcanic eruptions. And the third would be the references. So what are volcanoes? I'm sure you have learned this from the previous topics. However, let us have a little bit of a recap before we start. So what are volcanoes? Volcanoes are an opening in the Earth's crust through which lava, volcanic ash, and gases escape. There are three types of volcanoes, namely shield, composite, and cinder cones. Volcanoes are mostly found in tectonic plates that are diverging or converging, and most are found underwater. A volcanic eruption happens when magma rises to the surface. So here is a visual representation of a volcanic eruption on land, and here is a volcanic eruption underwater. So as mentioned, these are the three types of volcanoes. This is a cinder volcano, which is Mount Taal. This is a composite volcano, which is Mount Fuji. And lastly, a shield volcano, which is Mount Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Now on to the topic, signs of impending volcanic eruption. So the first would be an increase in the frequency and intensity of felt earthquakes. So this is a seismograph of an earthquake. However, if there is an impending volcanic eruption, this will go up and it will be repeated all throughout. Next would be increased steam activity, change in color of steam emission from white to gray due to entrained ash. Uh, regular steam is colored white. However, when mixed with ash, it will turn gray. So here is an example of that. This is Mount Taal spewing ash and steam. I believe this happened last year. So you can see the color is gray. Next would be crater glow due to presence of magma at or near the crater. So this is a crater glow as seen from Mayon, Mount Mayon. Please remember that it is at or near the crater. Next would be subtle swelling of the ground surface. I do not know if this is near a volcano. However, this is what it looks like when the ground surface is swelling. This is due to the increased heat down below. Next would be localized landslides, rock falls, and landslides from the summit area, which is not attributable to heavy rains. The landslide you can observe here is not due to heavy rains as most, most landslides are caused by. However, it is the movement from the volcano or the ground near the volcano. So you can see the start of the landslide is near the summit of the volcano. Next would be small changes in heat flow, increase in temperature of hot springs, etc. The temperature or the hot springs gain their temperature from rocks that are exposed to magma or from the ground. If the magma is increased, then most likely the rock will also increase in temperature. And in turn, it will also increase the temperature of the water in the hot spring. So this is a picture of an unusable hot spring in Yellowstone. This is because the water is very much, very much, I'm so sorry, very much hot here. Next would be noticeable increase in the extent of drying up of vegetation around the volcano's upper slopes. So as you can see here, it is mostly black or brown or there's no vegetation. However, this is normal in an extent. But if it is noticeable or very noticeable, I'm so sorry, it is very noticeable and it has increased or yeah, it, if it has increased, that is already a sign of impending volcanic eruption because an increase in the extent of drying up of vegetation around the volcano's upper slope 
is not normal. So this is from Mount Mayon. Next would be drying up of springs or wells or lakes around the volcano. This is Mount Taal. We all know that there is a lake in the crater of Mount Taal. However, when it exploded or it erupted, the crater, the lake at the crater dried out. So this is also the same case if there is an impending volcanic eruption. Next would be the development of new thermal areas and or reactivation of old ones. Appearance of solfatara. This is an example of solfatara. Next would be the noticeable variation in the chemical content of springs, crater lakes within the vicinity of the volcano. This is, a, this is an Indonesian crater lake. You see the difference in color. This is because there is a change in chemical content here that turned the water blue. And there is also a chemical change that happened here that turned the water brown. So that would be it for the impending signs of impending volcanic eruption. So here are the reference. This is for the articles which I have gained the knowledge from. And these are for the pictures or GIFs or GIFs. This slide, this template slide is from Slidesco. I hope you have learned something from this lesson and thank you very much for listening.